Good afternoon, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? This is Mark with Waist Deep Weight Fishing Southwest Florida. If you don't already know, um, and if you're new to the channel, well, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I hope you get a chance to enjoy uh, the prior videos up to this point, and I hope it helps you become a better fisherman. Again, thank you everybody for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Please keep up the likes on YouTube. It's very, very important. Um, if you appreciate what I do, by throwing up a thumbs up, making a comment, it's helping YouTube to push my content out to new viewers so I can get more subscribers, so I can continue to keep doing what I do. Again, thank you very much. So, into the topic today. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, about go-to lures, what's your top picks. Well, today you're going to get it all. You're getting the smorgasbord um, of lures. Today I'm going to give you my best top five search baits for the grass flats. Whether it be winter, spring, fall, whatever. These are my top five, my go-to baits when I'm on the flat. Now, it depends on the situation that I'm working, but if I'm on the flat, these are the baits I'm going to. So we're gonna start off with top water. I'm gonna give you basically three of them that are my must-haves that are in my box at all time. So here we go. The first is the Bone She Dog. High pitch. The bone white, you can't go wrong with the red eyes. There's something about those red eyes that turns them on and there's something about that bone. I don't know why they hit it, but they do. These, this class of bait calls the, the fish that are deeper in the flat, deeper in the potholes in the flat, up to the top to hit the bait, especially in the winter time when bait is a little scarce. They're looking for a high calorie meal. The she dog is what I'm going to. Here's another one in that class that I also put in my go-to box. It's brand new. I just got it set up with inline hooks so it doesn't get caught on grass. Um, yeah, you lose a little bit more um, hits on it with the inline, but I just find that it's just a better uh, combination with the inline hooks, especially when there's grass in the water or debris or whatnot. It's just it's a smoother walk. But this is the other one I use. This would be the blue back with the silver body. Same lure, brand new. Getting ready for the for, for our winter run. And the silver bottom. High pitch. Now also, fish sometimes won't go after a bait of that size. They could be finicky. So in the same class, except the smaller version, I have a modified, as you can see it, she puff. High pitch, chartreuse back. I shave the bottom. Uh, this way it just looks bone with the orange and red chin. It looks like a bleeding chin, but it's in the same class. The next top water lure in my search bait class, this would be the... Uh, Number two in the order of lures would be low pitch. There's only really one low pitch lure that I've come across um, that really, really, that really works um, that that produced for me, and it's this one. It's the top, the top dog junior, and uh, chartreuse and gold side with the red eye, but you can hear it's got a much lower pitch. So if the fish are a little skittish on the flat, sometimes you may want to move to a bait that doesn't make so much ruckus in the water, especially if you have low wind. And this is the bait to use, right here. On to our next search baits. Now you know I'm a huge fan of spoons, um, not just because I'm sponsored by them, because they work. And if there's a bait that you can run through the grass without getting snagged and run over an oyster bar and don't have to worry about losing your lures, getting snagged on oyster bars and, and cut off, well, these are them. 
right here, the Aqua Dream Spoons. And these three right here are always in my box. The Gold Spoon, and of course we always have a barrel swivel connected to avoid line twists. The Gold Spoon for the tannic water in the summer times. The Copper Spoon. And of course, if we're working the beaches for those line siders that are running up and down the troughs, I've got to have the, the bloody spoon, the silver with the red head. Those are the three spoons I use on the grass flats and the beaches. So moving on to number three in our search bait class, we're going to go to the smaller lower pitch top waters and everyone knows you can't beat a super spook and when it comes to super spooks there's one on the market that's been around since the beginning of time and you know if you've seen my videos the red rooster much lower pitch much cleaner walk very, very easy to throw, can throw it in all environments. Um, before I'll go to a high pitch on the grass flats, I will go with the Heaton Super Spook Jr., especially the Red Rooster. My second pick, if we have some dirty water and it's a little turbulent, you know, high current, a little bit of waves, maybe it's a little tannic, got a little silt in it, I'm going to go to the silver and clear with the chartreuse top. So that would be my number three for my search baits on the grass flats. Number four, and recently you've seen the videos and what they can do, I'll use two types. Now I also will use a suspending, but unfortunately I can't find that box. I've had a couple in there and I just can't find it. So. I'll have to bring them out and show you next time. But when it comes to search baits, okay, these two, they're both sinking baits, okay? This is the Miralore Skin Series in the mullet. It's the exact replica of a mullet. There's no rattle in it. It's just a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. Magnificent long casting search bait when the fish are on the mullet. Sometimes you can throw this and they're not going to touch it. Which leads me to my next lure that has been super productive right now because of all the greenbacks that are on the flats uh, towards this latter end of the summer. And that would be the mirror lure Heavy Dean. As you can see right here, Heavy Dean. It's a off-white with a green stripe down the back an orange bottom and a kind of luminescent foil on the side and of course with the green eye it's half the size of a regular mirror lure but like the other mirror lures these mirror lures do not they're not subsurface they hit the water and they will slowly fall and it seems like this year um, this heavy dean has put in work. I don't know what it's what's a, what it is about this particular one, but guys, take a good look. This lure has been fantastic on the grass flats for redfish and sea trout. So, leading me into my next and final search bait on the grass flats. That's always with me by my side. First of all, if you're using jigs, you better be using Texas Rattler jig heads. These jig heads are hands down, by far, the best jig heads on the market. Not only do they not destroy the bait because they have a proprietary band, a rubber band right here, that when it connects with the soft plastics on your bait, it, 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 it uh, forms a lock where the bait does not pull off. So if a fish tugs it and it does happen to slip, you can put it right back on without the bait being destroyed. Number two, the golden eyes are fantastic. They reflect light. 
Number three, the hook itself is acts like a tuning fork and basically sends that sound and amplifies the sound across the flat like no other. Number four, the rattle. Every single one of these baits emit a rattle and they're the loudest rattles out there. The colors I use, as you can see, as I just went through them, chartreuse, yellow, pink, and white. And what do I match them with? Well, you heard me talk about them before. I'll talk about them again. There's three major soft plastics I use, and that is about it. Number one, that would be the Saltwater Assassin Chicken on the Chain. That bait right there, four inches long, will go on my bait, will go on my jig head 80% of the time as soon as I get on a grass flat. That is the one. My number two will be a white with a chartreuse tail, DOA Cal Shad. That is my number two when I'm on a grass flat. Unfortunately, my number three would be the gold or the black and gold cow shot. I just do not have any available. Uh, they're coming to me here shortly. Uh, but not, last but not least, my last soft plastic that is in my box every time I go on the flat and I find to be the last part of the best beats for on the grass flats will be the Chicken Boy Lures Bubber Clucker Chicken. Now they're not very well known in Florida. They're huge out in Texas in the wade fishing community. I have started using them now for a year. And the way it's designed, and of course, I mean, love this purple and white uh, bottom. It's fantastic. But when swim, these appendages kick and leave off such a vibration. When it pops, I mean, you can just see it. You can see the legs, how they move. When you pop it through the potholes, it sends off such a vibration, the trout, the redfish, and the snook cannot resist it. All right, guys, thank you very much for spending the time with me. Hopefully you made it through the whole video. I love you all. Thank you very much. Thank you again for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hat is off to everybody. Please make sure to hit that like button, tell a friend, share the video, help me propel this channel to the next level, and I will see you guys out on the grass flats.